First, check the quadrants for play in the pins and bushes using a pry bar. The first step in removing the quadrant is to remove the three screws at the front of the lower slide to release the leather flap. Then, remove the five cap screws, which will allow you to take off the wiper plate. The next stage is removing four screws to unwind the adjusting knob. Remove the hexagon bolt which holds the locating block and put to one side. Remove the gib screw at the rear of the lid next to the adjusting screw where you took off the knob. Tap the slide forward and pull out the gib strip. Do this with care as the slide will fall toward you. The next stage is to remove the slide base. Remove the five cap screws which hold the base. There are three in front and two in the rear. Then remove the two taper pins, which are located at the center rear and right front slide. Slide the base off carefully because it is heavy. Crank the machine around until the quadrant is at its highest point. This will enable you to take off the tension spring. Loosen the tension bolt and take out the spring. Remove the stop screw on the side of the quadrant which allows the slide links to move. Loosen the T-bolt nuts on the slide link. Undo the hexagon stop screw on the link to your right and remove the pin. If it does not move easily, insert a cap screw into the pin and pry it out with a bar. Then remove the link. Follow the intermediate link to find the pin at the top. Remove the hexagon stop screw and remove the pin. Crank the machine until you can see the intermediate link lower clamps located in the middle of the quadrant. 
Remove the clamp nuts and the intermediate clamps. Then take out the link arm. There is now one link remaining, the left one, which connects the upper slide. Remove the taper point screw, which holds the pin located between the two links. This is at the end of the forked intermediate lever. Extract the pin. If it is tight, then insert a cap screw into the pin and pry it out with a bar, removing the link. Loosen the T-bolt nuts on the slide link. You may have to crank the machine to raise the quadrant and make the link come out more easily. Remove the T-bolt. Now remove the link arm. Crank the machine again until you can see the cam insert. Remove the two cap screws which hold the cam insert. And then remove the cam insert itself. Crank the machine again until the quadrant drops out of the cam tracks. Remove the two tension screws which are located on the lower approach anchor link. Make sure you know which side of the link they came out of, the right or the left. Then remove the two taper point screws, which are behind the two stop screws that you have already taken out. Place cap screws into the pins that hold the quadrant to the approach anchor link. Then pry the pins out with a bar. Then lift out the quadrant carefully. The quadrant can be awkward to lift out and is heavy. Remove the taper point screw for the upper shaft that holds the approach arm. Extract the shaft slowly.
there are spacers on both sides of the approach arm, so be careful when taking out the shaft. Then remove the arm. Make sure you know which spacer goes on each side of the arm when you remove it. Now you must remove the anchor link. Remove the taper point screw which holds the lower shaft. Tap out the shaft until you can remove the link. You now have successfully removed the lower quadrant and it is ready for rebushing.